Good morning, James. It's great to have you here at Agri Forum this weekend. Um, what, what's your future in farming is our topic for discussion today. So, what did you see uh, your future in farming as being when you were some of our members' ages? I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> uh, I, I suppose it's, I mean, we've seen, I've seen in my time of farming huge variations in, in, in prices. So, I was looking at when I was in the early 20s, it's been more weeks. But there was still the enthusiasm and passion to say, okay, I can stand my heart and I can do something about it. So, um, you know, what problem I solved my future was, was making the farm my own, taking it, taking it, taking it over it from my father, putting my own stamp on it, and really making it, making it work. Yeah. So, um, I suspect a lot of our members feel that way today themselves, looking to get into farming and put their own stamp on their family business or their own business. Have you got any advice for our uh, new members coming up and trying to make their way into the sector? Absolutely, in terms of advice for the new member, you know, people coming into the sector, you've got to, you've got to stand out. Yeah. You've got to make, make your own stand out. So whether that be doing something, whether it be off farm for a couple of years before you come back, or, or doing something with the resources you've got available on the farm, um, you've got to get out from underneath the shadow of, of your other or something like that. Um, to, Parents to, to, to make it really work. Um, it's, it's very hard. It's very hard to do, um, but that's 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 the way to do it. Get out there. Get your name out there. Get your face out there. Um, and make it so that you're you know, who you are rather than who you are. Okay, then one probably quite difficult question. Where do you see the industry in five to ten years' time? But also the industry in five to ten years' time. Climbing uh, again. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of new things coming in farming at the moment, both uh, restricting in terms of legislation, but also encouraging in terms of new technologies. Um, so I think I think where we'll be in even five years' time will be, will be quite different to where we are today. Um, you know, whether that be you know, technology on tractors, technology on crops, um, you know, the things like drought resistance coming in, um, some some of the varieties are going to grow, and, and ultimately our yields are increasing. So there's there's huge potential. So where we'll see ourselves at the same time this time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Doing so, more than we are now, at least, let's say. So, opportun more opportunities than challenges? Absolutely. Yeah, there's always opportunities. Everyone says, you know, there's always the opportunities that we have in the moment. There's always, always opportunities just to go out there and find them. They might be so sort of different from what they were 10 years ago, uh, but they'll always be there. Brilliant. Thank you, James. And we're really glad to have you here today. Thank no you. Problem. Thank you very much.